Kevin, how are you? Fine. You're fine, eh? Yeah. You're fine. What? How old are you? Mokilas. <laughs> Mokilas, eh? Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder. You could see a child with autism, they have poorly developed social skills, poorly developed communication skills. They have qualitative impairment. So what are the concerns that say that that made you feel that my child maybe has a problem? She couldn't do standing up. Mm -hmm. uh, disorganizing everything in the house, destroy everything in the house. Children with autism, they cannot read nonverbal signs from another person and make sense of them and then respond appropriately. Does he talk? He can talk. Talk properly? Eh? No. Mm -hmm. Children with autism usually present differently. Some have a problem with communication. Some have limited speech and some don't have speech at all. He can play alone. He plays alone? Mm. Mm -hmm. What else? He sits alone. He doesn't want many people. Mm. Mm. He can slap you. He, oh. he can slap you uh -huh, and else? cry. Mm. Mm. And he can beat you, hurt mm. you. Eh? Mm. And they don't have enough words to communicate. That puts them into difficulties in their social skills. Many times they fight, fight others, because they get mixed up how they should relate. Their different world, different from ours. The way they look at things is different from the way a normal child would look at it. Does it sometimes get interested in one thing and he does that thing mm. the whole day, all the time? What mm. is that? Those bottle, empty bottles, like everywhere. This is my bottle. Uh, the other problem that the children experience is repetitive behaviors. Eh? Maybe because of their difficulties of speech, they end up being obsessed with certain items. Children with autism have very a uh, unique way of uh, responding to texture of food. Some of them may cling on a certain types of food because uh, it appeals to them. Nai has some special foods mm. he wants. Like what? Rice every day. Mm. The five senses that we have, theirs are, have a different th threshold that if it's hearing, either they don't want high sounds, their skin doesn't need clothes that are light, those that are light I will be tickling them and they don't want that. Sometimes they like rocking their head. Sometimes they like hitting their heads. It's the sensation that they are looking for that is not the same as ours. The best treatment for autism is behavior treatment. Behavior treatments help us to understand the behavior. Why is the behavior being done? And so if their behavior is bad, we look for ways of modifying the specific behavior. Is the behavior head banging? What happens before the head banging? And then after the head banging is done, what is being done? So what is being done? Is it reinforcing it to continue or trying to stop it from happening? Then we can help the parent teaching them how they can do away with the behavior that's not desired and get better ways to implement the behavior that should, is desired. So if parents get to know what this child is different from others, then they can be creative in that. Provide the same sensation, but in a more uh, friendly, less harmful uh, way and it helps this child to calm down and they become less chaotic. Yeah.
and you have to be careful when you are speaking. Give short and clear instructions. In other words, you give one instruction at a go. Don't give a lot of instructions to a child who is autistic. You are likely to confuse the child. So. Giving them facial expressions. You teach them facial expressions by doing them. You show a, an angry face. And over time, they start to read these facial expressions. Then you have to make language so, so, so nice. When you just speak a monotone, language can be boring. But you have to make real language so nice. Use exclamations, change the face. Um, you make it so, you use a lot of intonations, not like one boring language, so that a child realizes, I think I can also maybe speak like that person, because we really speaking is so nice. When a child starts really communicating, when a child realizes he's really making sense, then learning language becomes like automatic. If you're putting an autistic child, you say maybe, okay, let's put on your red jumper. Oh, your red jumper is nice. Okay, let's find your red jumper. The word red jumper is coming over and over, is repeated. And this is how you help a child start mapping. Oh, this thing that I always put on is called jumper. Then eventually a child starts learning language. We need to make it clear that parents are not blamable for children developing autism spectrum disorder. But this is a child who is looking at the world differently. We need to step into their world to understand it from their eyes. You have to show love to a child, a child to build the trust. That's really the best thing you can do with your child. So instead of spanking, beating, shouting to the child, so you should really be so, so, so nice to the child. Autism is not like a, a death sentence for a child. Every child is special in their own way, and so autistic children are also special in their own way. <laughs>